video you've just watched right now it's not real and you probably guessed that from this youtube video title this is a gaussian splatting render unless you've been living under a rock you already know this is one of the hottest topic in a 3d tech right now gaussian splatting is a similar technique with photogrammetry and lidar scanning it uses a collection of points called 3d gaussians to represent a scene these techniques allows for efficient and realistic rendering especially in a real-time environment in this video we are going step by step through how to create a gaussian splatting and to visualize it so don't skip ahead or you might miss some important steps and probably you're gonna get stuck later to create your first gaussian splatting render you need to start by building a data set here is how i've done it with your camera you need to orbit around your subject whether it's a person or an object it doesn't really matter make sure to capture different depths of your subject close-ups wide shots and angles from all around to record this footage i use my sony fx3 4k settings in 10-bit color depth with s log color profile you don't need necessarily a fancy camera but in my experience i realized that the result looks better if you use a camera compared using your phone once you're happy with the footage it's time to edit and make it look a little bit more professional in premiere i'm going to import the footage and make a few small adjustments i'll trim out parts i don't really like then i will apply a lot to improve the look alongside with some basic color correction adjustments now check out the difference here's the footage before and after the edit it really stands out and the quality looks great you can export now the result either as an image sequence or a video both options will work for the next step now let's create the Gaussian splatting. There are multiple ways to do it. The easiest method I found is using PostShot. Head over to their website, download the app and install it into your machine. I will leave the link in the descriptions if you can't really find it. Once that's done, launch the app and don't worry, it's super straightforward. Just drag and drop your image sequence and that's it. Copy all my settings. The most important ones are this, the radiance field, check splat MCMC, leave the down sampling and max splat count at default. The footage was filmed with the same focal length so i will check these options here once you're happy hit import at this point post shot will load all your frames and begin the process of training the images basically it's gonna try to recreate what you've done in reality the way you move the camera it's gonna replicate that in a 3d scene this process takes a little bit longer and depending on your hardware if you made it so far please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when i post new content i really want to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year and you are the only one who can help me back to the video once that's done training begins and that's when gaussian splatting actually kicks in by step 100 to 200 you will start to see a clear reconstruction of your shot the result will always look most accurate when viewing from the original camera perspective that's kind of the rule if you rotate around in 3d space using the wsd controls it might look a little bit messy outside the camera perspective to make the training process faster you can disable the splats from the viewport and this is gonna increase the speed of your training once this step is complete congrats you you just made your first plot now you can freely explore your work as i mentioned before you'll notice that the 3d view looks great from the original camera perspective but less so from the other angles that's normally with this technique to make things a little bit better and remove unwanted things we're gonna do some cleanup on the left panel you will find tools for cleaning unwanted splats you can select the splat you don't want and press the Delete. if you hold shift you can undo the selection you can also invert your mask to keep what's selected and remove everything else the next options we have is the crop box enable this to isolate just the area you want to keep resize the box to your needs and anything outside will be removed once you're happy with the result in post shot you can export the splat and bring it into different applications like unreal engine blend 
render new or after effects the animation you've seen right now has been entirely created in after effects what you have to do is to type on the website gaussian splatting after effects plugin if you have the money you can purchase it from the website and if not you can just dive a little bit deeper on the website you can find some free versions uh, once you're happy pop the plugin into this folder it's called C programs file Adobe Common Plugins 7 Media Core. Pop it right here and reopen After Effects and it should work. Back to After Effects. Let me go through what I've done myself in After Effects. I imported the splat, it's right here. And then I created the solid and then imported the song that I wanted to create and edit on the beat. So we have these three layers. This is the most important. If you click on the solid layer and press U, you will see all the animations and keyframes I've done myself. First, you have the anchor point. What this does, it's placing the pivot point in the middle of the character. Now, all the animation I'm going to do is gonna relate to the character. The second, you have a line scan. This pretty much controls the depth of the camera further or closer away to the subject. Up to you, how do you want it? Then you have the align X, Y, and Z. Pretty self-explanatory. You move the camera in different axes. I would say first do the basic camera motion, how you want the camera to move around, and then focusing on the FX tab. Once you're happy with the camera animation, don't forget to easy ease all your keyframes for better animation results. One of my first effects done in this video was the color shape size. If you look on the animation, you can see that starts from zero and then goes to a crazy number further away back to the camera. And then I bring it back. Obviously, I do this based on the audio. Color shape X, Y, Z, you can modify where the yellow color should be positioned into your scene. Next is the max value where I think is one of the most important effect. Basically you start from no effect from zero and then you expand gradually to the fullest Gaussian plot in capture. As well, that's what I've done across the entire video. You go backwards and forward, apply this effect. And one more last thing I've done, it was scale max value. This is important to control the size of the Gaussian splatting points. Lower value, we see small amount point cloud particles. Big amount, we see the entire Gaussian splatting. If you made it until the end, thank you so much for watching. I really want to bring more educational content and educate about visual effects and AI stuff. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.